to show you today. You remember I mentioned the little widget I have here on my site that has my favorite videos, uh, top 100 tweeted URLs, my tweets, and my links. Well, I made this. It's a it's a widget, and I they found this cool place where you can make your own widgets, and I'm going to share it with you today. And it's called the Sprout Builder. Sprout. Well, oh, it's called Sprout, but it's SproutBuilder.com, and you can do a lot of stuff with this. I mean, they have their gallery here with really cool stuff. But let's launch the builder so you can see how it works briefly. Um, you can get several pre-made templates, as you can see right over here. If you want to have a personal sprout, okay, you can grab this, add a picture, change it, and you can also add all interactive. Let's open it in the builder. Okay, this is personal sprout test you can add a lot of interactive information so in my case I'm just gonna pull in some images and a couple of links and let's see if we can get this to work quickly and easily it's pretty easy well you have to play around a little bit to get the hang of it when um, for the real cool stuff but it's pretty straightforward so if you double click here to specify your image you can pull something from your assets up here and if it's not in the assets you can obviously um, add assets so you just have to pick something from your computer I'm going to pick my picture and I'll add the asset okay it should be here there we go it's loading there okay so I pull that in here and I close this I pull that in here I have it too small right now so I should be able to drag it. Did it work? Yeah. Okay, let me put the image in there. Okay, let's resize it. Okay, my name, just double click it easily and whatever. And then your gallery, you can move. Let me bring this up a little bit and you'll see you have more options here. Your gallery is on this page so you can do a slideshow here information about you if you click on each little picture see Facebook then you can go to the link here and instead of Facebook you can add your Facebook link and you can add your linked link and Google me whatever and your personal website so here you'd enter your website HTTP that will tutorial whoops oh okay uh, my keyboard works weirdly because I have it configured for Spanish so here I can't put the column but let's just copy it from over here and paste it in here and it should work okay and then the video you could add I'm oh, sorry you have to go down here video uh, specify the content I could grab a YouTube video and let's see I think it would be pretty easy to grab it from here I go to YouTube. Yeah. Okay, this is a URL. And I'll paste it here. Let's pull in the video there. Okay, cool. My blog. Um, I can add the news feed of my blog. And in this case, I just copy the link here. Copy link. And paste it in the feed. See, now you have to go down here, news feed. I paste it. And that should pull the information. There you go and basically that's it. Did I get my gallery? Well, I, I'm not using gallery, so I could probably delete this page. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to delete the button that should be on the foreground. Yeah, I'm going to delete the gallery button. Okay. So that's it. I just have to go to Pub Preview. Well, I can preview it. There you go. Main page. About me. My video and my blog. So you only have to exit the preview, publish it, and here is the really cool thing. Once you've published it, you can put it wherever you want. You can make actu actually make it shareable so other people share your widget. Obviously, who would want to share my widget? But if it's something useful, because you can add videos, you can add seismic, seismic um, videos, and a lot of other things. and people can share it but the good thing is that once you shared it it doesn't matter uh, where it is 
if you go back to 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 Sprout Builder and modify it, your changes will be reflected on all the sites where your widget is placed. So that's really, really cool. And if you can come up with a really nice idea to make it a little bit viral, hey, you'll have a lot of exposure. So this is a tutorial, non-standard size, very long actually, two and five and a half minutes, but I think it's worth it. You should go to SproutBuilder.com and play around for a while. I'm sure you're going to enjoy this.